Whipping all this dope up in the trap house We fuck all you bitches at the trap house I can't trust you, okay, can't give you real address I can't trust you, okay, can't give you real address They don't mean that be like Jerry Stagger I might fall in love with my trap house Peace out, you boy, she don't been sure what's poppin' Today we are back, and this time I got a theory video Usually we've been talking about a lot of topics going on in the board to anime um, obviously we got a Boruto chapter coming out this month, so it'll probably be a little bit later on. I think it'll be around, like, the 26th or something like that. I will actually have to, like, go check the date again, so don't, like, confirm what I'm saying. Just kind of think it'll be, like, towards the, more of the middle, towards the end of the month, we'll get the Boruto chapter. So, as a whole, I've been talking about a lot of different things. You know, I've been talking about Will Konohamaru surpass Kakashi. I've been talking about Kurosuchi and her, what's going on with her in the series. I've been talking about Kawaki, how I like him as a, as a character in the series and he's probably like that my favorite thing in the boruto manga right now and you know obviously like different things that i like in the boruto anime so right now uh it's gotten to the point where i'm just kind of you know powwowing topics and stuff like that and i've been reading the comment section and seeing what you guys say and see got what you guys want me to talk about so if you like you have any video recommendations or any topic discussions that you would like to see me have a conversation about if i have not already have that had that conversation you can leave those in the comment section below i've really been enjoying seeing what your guys opinions on different things about the boruto franchise has been um it can be also things about different animes and stuff like that because i do have a lot of other like secret projects in the work it's just more so like i've been just like you know trying to get out the direct content to like you know show you guys that i'm back on my consistent and I'm back grinding. So with that aside, today we're gonna talk about Boruto's Scar. So like, I know a lot of people are like making a whole bunch of theories about Boruto's Scar. I've made a couple of theories about Boruto's Scar myself. I've discussed this with a whole bunch of my friends. I've discussed it with analysts. I've talked about this with people that don't do YouTube and they just kind of, you know, hang around and like people in my Discord and stuff like that. I've actually had a lot of different conversations with Button Board to Scar. So like, if you guys have been around the channel for a really long time, I had a video in the past talking about Boruto potentially got his scar from like, you know, maybe a training accident with Sasuke. I said that, you know, and I was like, maybe he could have been training with Sasuke and he had that accident. But then I also said maybe could have been something like where you know somebody wanted to steal the jogan from boruto because he found out that boruto possessed this almighty power and they were probably interested in that power and stuff like that so it was one of those things where there were a lot of different avenues and a lot of different windows you know onto boruto scar because mind you he has the jogan we've seen you know toniri talk about the jogan we've seen yurashiki talk about the potential power we even seen my boy momoshiki get a glimpse of the jogan so you know maybe somebody finds out about it in the future and they're going to go after it kind of similar to what we've seen a lot of people do regarding the Sharingan, you know, how they wanted to achieve that power, and you know, obviously, like how Al took up the power and when he stole the Byakugan, and now he has it. And then, you know, they just want to take that kick at Ginkai for themselves, so they probably want to see the Jogan from Boruto and just take it from themselves. But overall, you know, there's a lot of different things that I haven't really factored into this. Now, there was one possibility that I did speak upon a long time ago, but I didn't go into context because I didn't really know how it would actually take place. So, if you guys don't know, in the Boruto manga right now, Kawaki has become a resident of a resident of the Uzumaki household. So, you can honestly call him Kawaki Uzumaki because there is no actual last name for Kawaki. Kawaki is just Kawaki. It was nothing else, you know. Like Ten Ten is just Kawaki. You know? like this person name is just kawaki we don't know what's his last name we don't know a whole bunch about his lineage now obviously they may go into some detail to why jigen purchased him from his father or why you know he went after that specific kid you know maybe you know kawaki belonged to a special clan or something like that that you know basically had some type of high level chakra similar to uzumaki or maybe had like high durability for learning you know seals and stuff like that we don't necessarily know why kawaki was like bought off by jigen maybe jigen was just buying kids just to buy kids but over Overall, we know that Kawaki has become a member of the Uzumaki household. We know he lives with Boruto. As you guys saw, Kawaki has been shown to be a very easily tempered individual. This guy gets mad upset at the drop of a dime. I'm talking about the simplest things can trigger him. 
you know, obviously he tried to escape Naruto a couple of times, you know, he broke the base, you know what I'm saying? And then like he said, there was no malice behind it, but it was more so like he was just used to everybody like trying to hold him captured and just treat him like an object. So he was more so just trying to get away so he could be on his own type of shit. And the thing is, you know, we see, you know, Kawaki obviously start to adapt and start to get like in a more of a, a normalized uh, setting with this family. But even still, you know, when he was with Boruto and, you know, they were using the bathroom on the back fence because Naruto was taking a dump. These two got into a fight and they got into a clash, you know what I'm saying? So, like, they were going toe-to-toe -to -toe in the backyard fighting and, then, you know, Naruto caught them fighting and shit like that. He had to send out, send out a shadow clone to break them up. And then even, like... When you see Naruto take Kawaki on and take him out in the village and stuff like that, you see he was basically, you know, going to get the, uh, the Takayaki, and he, that was his first time trying it, and the kid bumped into him, and he dropped it, and he was upset about it. You know, it wasn't like the kid was really, there wasn't the fact that the kid was oligagging, because he didn't care if the kid was playing around, but it was more so that he dropped his Takayaki, and he was really enjoying it. He didn't want to express that, hey, I was really liking this because, you know, that was like, he, like he said, that was his first time trying it. He didn't never try that before. So he, you know, he switched his molecular structure and he basically made this big ass claw come out. Now, if you go back into when Kawaki was first introduced when he was fighting against Gyro, you know, this man, you know, he stabbed Gyro up. His hand turned into like a scythe weapon. You know, this was like him using his molecular structure to fight. So he has the ability and the SS to completely change his limbs to weapons weapons whenever need be and we even seen him do it out of anger for dropping the takiyaki when the kid bumped into him you know he even said you know watch where you're going blah 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 this is the consequence of being in the real world etc etc so like it was one of those things where we see you know this man kawaki just being like a deadly headhunter you know he's just, he's basically like letting us know like he's easily tempered so i feel like him and borto being in the same household for a long period of time you know obviously they're probably both trying to work to get on the karma sale but i think they're going to get really really close and then maybe these two are going to start to spar with each other and they're going to start to like actually like you know compete because right now we see that level of com them competing and stuff like that now obviously uh kawaki does does seem like he's a little bit stronger than Boruto due to the fact that he has some idea how to use the Karma Seal, not to mention he has some idea how to use like the Scythe and stuff like that, you know, he can change the molecular structure when he wants to, but I feel like something's gonna happen where him and Boruto are gonna train and they're gonna basically be fighting against each other and Boruto's Jogons might have activate and you know, maybe Kawaki's gonna get upset about that and go ahead and like flash his eye or maybe Kawaki and Boruto are gonna be fighting where Boruto just gets the best of him and he accidentally slashes uh Boruto's eye and Boruto activates the Jogon right before he slashes his eye just so he can evade the hit where he gets just enough of a graze to the fact where he does get the scar without actually losing his eye or without actually like getting his head completely severed off his body so the Jogon might actually kick in to help him but I'm starting to lean a little bit more to the side that Kawaki may be the person that gives Boruto his scar um that's just me personally that's just like my overall theory uh i do know there's a lot of theories surrounding this now in the beginning like i said it could have been a, it could have been a training accident with sasuke and then you know, i thought about how sasuke has been and how careful sasuke has been going about things as recently and how he's been exposed into the manga as well as the anime i was like maybe not and then we knew yurashiki did find out that toniri did something to boruto so i figured maybe he was gonna go after boruto and maybe try to get that power from boruto for himself so that way he can stop Boruto from being the star of hope and stop, you know, any chance of the Utsutsuki being like faded off. So I thought maybe he was one of those people that would send like a troop against Boruto or basically put people against Boruto in order for him to like, you know, be able to achieve that eye power of his own and basically sever that connection with Boruto and the Jogan because, you know, the Jogan is supposed to be the all-seeing eye, it's supposed to be the eye that basically cleanses the Utsutsuki, the power that would allow Boruto to defeat the Utsutsuki because it will allow him to be like the ultimate hybrid human mixed with Utsutsuki chakra not to mention having the karma seal and shit like that and it's just like he's kind of amplified he's like powered up to a different level but overall I'm not necessarily sure how it's gonna play out but I'm starting to lean more side more to the side that you know Kawaki being in that household being very close knitted with them 
you know, maybe he has a breakdown, maybe he has a flashback, maybe he gets in his mode where, you know, he starts to, like, black out and just kind of go wild. Because mind you guys, he is a genetic experiment, so, like, there might be something where he actually, like, flashes out and he completely loses his shit and just goes berserk in the house or something like that. And, you know, Boruto may be the person that tries to stop him and quell, the, like, the berserk rage or, like, you know, calm him down or something like that. He might accidentally, like, cut Boruto and then, you know, Boruto's probably gonna forgive him for it later on and that's gonna make Kawaki you know feel like the error of his ways is wrong for a little while up until the point we get ready to see him you know do the devastation that we've seen uh taking place within the leaf village you know what I'm saying because when there was fighting the fucking Hokage faces was destroyed every building within the background of the Hokage faces were completely tattered and like you know messed up so overall we don't necessarily know how Boruto is gonna get it but I'm starting to lean more so to the side of Boruto potentially getting a scar from Kawaki due to them being in such a close knitted living quarters and then not to mention both of these two are really hot-headed rivals and they're actually like going toe-to-toe -to -toe in terms of competition on who's the stronger one or who's the better one overall you know this is all speculation like I said this is still a theory um I did talk about other different possibilities and other type of routes uh overall right now we don't necessarily know for all we know it could be a bandit that could have been just pulling up and he could have just accidentally stab Boruto and it just happened to be the eye that Boruto had the Jogan over but I'm leaning more towards the side that it might be a training accident between Kawaki and Boruto due to the fact that Kawaki is easily tempered and maybe Boruto is going to get the best of him in front of some people or something like that you know maybe Kawaki is going to get upset and then lash out or like I said you know he might go in a berserk and then you know lose complete control of himself because mind you he even though he's human he still was engineered genetically to be able to handle the karma cell as well as changes in molecular structure and shit like that so I'm not exactly sure but I still feel like Kawaki may be the person responsible for it now there's still the possibility Possibility of Yurashiki uh, being involved, but like I don't think Yurashiki be the reason why Boruto get a scar. Not to mention Yurashiki hasn't been seen in the anime since the Utsutsuki invasion. You know that was like after the Utsutsuki invasion. That was like probably episode 68, 69. Uh, we didn't see Yurashiki at all. You know we're on episode 80 now. This is like a whole like grip of episodes that have passed. We haven't seen Yurashiki be hinted at. We haven't had like a flashback of him. We have no like glimpse of his whereabouts or nothing like that. Maybe Yurashiki has his own arc where he gets finished off in the series. Or maybe he comes back with other Utsutsuki members. But as of right now, I don't think Yurashiki is going to be the person that has a hand in it. Now overall, like I said, this is speculation and theory. If you have your own personal thoughts and personal opinions, let me know that in the comment section. How do you think Boruto is going to get his scar in the future series? of the future of the series let me know how you feel about that and with that being said my name is Shino Ventrill stay true and stay real if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you drop a like like I said if you have any video topics that you would like to recommend uh, whether it be Boruto or some other anime that you know that I'm aware of or that I'm talking about or like I watch you know let me know those in the comment section below and with that being said have a blessed day and see you guys later Boise.